pretty lights Look me in the face Tell me that you love me Even if it's fake The Sharp AS341WT dual mode provides one GA port and one FE port. These ONT and ONU features high performance forwarding capabilities to ensure excellent experiences with VoIP, Internet, HD video services and IPTV. These features make the Sharp AS341WT dual mode a perfect choice for broadband access. And the Sharp AS341WT is the Made in India product. In this video, I am gonna share how to confirm Sharp AS341WT for configuring BSNL FTTH internet connection as well as VoIP. Okay friends, let's get into the video. In the last video I have shared how to configure UI modem for BSNL 5th internet connection and in this video I am gonna share Sharp modem, how to configure your BSNL internet as well as VoIP. So in the Huawei modem we made make configured using Wi-Fi connection, and in this uh, we need not go for uh, Wi-Fi option. We can make use of the LAN connection directly. Open Google Chrome, enter 192.168.1.1. This page would display. Enter the username as admin. Enter password as stdonu101. ONU is the only letter should be entered in caps ok and enter the verification code given below after entering it you can click on to login the page would be displayed if you are entering this for the first time you should change the password I have, in, I have already logged in this site so it's not asking for me ok so next click on the network option we are going to configure the internet connection connection uh, add new WAN connection okay add new WAN connection change the mode to root IP protocol mode as IPv4 PPOE enable VLAN ID the VLAN ID would be provided by your local cable operator so I am entering mine 188 after this uh, everything remains the same and mtvs 1492 and username first three letters of your registered name just typing abc after that uh, your phone number underscore sid at ftth.bsnl.in this is just an example password as password service name you can choose whatever it it is applicable for you I am just choosing BSNL FTTH uh, service mode is internet and uh, you can enable all the port bindings and click on to save after that you can check it on going into the status WAN connection info you can check it here the status is still down because I haven't connected it if you had connected you the state will display as up okay let's uh, that's all about the internet configuration we can go for van configuration so this is the default page we should delete it and create a new account connection name as add new van connection it's little bit slow okay add new van connection okay mode as uh, root IPv4 for this you should select uh, static option for static uh, VLAN ID is 1830 ok 1830 and IP address as uh, so you can for IP address will be provided by your ISP uh, for default gateway the last one of the IP address should be changed as 1 so ok for example I am uh, IP address is 12.12.12.5 means for default gateway it should be 12.12.12.1 the last one need to be changed as 1 and the subnet as should be 255.255.255 as 0 of primary dns you can type uh, 
ನನ್ನ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಡಿ ಎನ್ ಎಸ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಟು ಡಾಟ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಆನ್ ಟು ವಾಯ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೇವ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ನೀಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಆನ್ ಟು ಅಪ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ ಓ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಚೆಕ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೇಟಸ್ ಓಕೆ ವಿ ಐ ಪಿ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಇನ್ಆ್ಯಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಆನ್ ಟು ಅಪ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ ಏನಾಬಲ್ ದ ಶಿಪ್ ಸೇವ್ ಓಕೆ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಒನ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಆನ್ ಟು ಅಪ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ ವಿವೊ ಐ ಪಿ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಕನ್ಫಿಗರ್ ದ ವಿ ಐ ಪಿ ಇಂಡರ್ ಸಿಪ್ ರಿಜಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಅಡ್ರೆಸ್ ನ್ಯೂ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಪ್ ವಾಯ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ವಾಯ್ಸ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಟೆನ್ ಡಾಟ್ ಒನ್ ಏಟಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಡಾಟ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಡಾಟ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ಆರ್ ಎಲ್ಸ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಟೈಪ್ ವಾಯ್ಸ್ ಡಾಟ್ ಟಿ ಎನ್ ಡಾಟ್ ಎಫ್ ಟಿ ಟಿ ಹೈಚ್ ವಿವೊ ಐ ಪಿ ಡಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಎಸ್ ಎನ್ ಎಲ್ ಡಾಟ್ ಇನ್ ಸೊ ಐ ಎಮ್ ಗೋನ ಕಾಪಿ ಇಟ್ ಐ ಗೋನ ಯೂಸ್ ದಿ ಸೇಮ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯುವರ್ ಓನ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಕಾಪಿ ಇಟ್ ಐ ಗೋನ ಪೇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಕಿಯರ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ರಿ ಸಿಪ್ ರಿಜಿಸ್ಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ಅಡ್ರೆಸ್ ಪೇಸ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ರೈಮರಿ ಸಿಪ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಸಿ ಅಡ್ರೆಸ್ ಪೇಸ್ಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಹಿಯರ್ ಟು ಪೇಸ್ಟ್ ಸಿಪ್ ಡೊಮೈನ್ ಪೇಸ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ರಿ ಸಿಪ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಸಿ okay paste here to and uh, here to and here to and next one is the important thing you should uh, get enable the should new you need to be enable the line one okay and uh, account number for the account number you should type 91 area code and the phone number and the account name is the same and the account password will be provided by your isa you can get the password from the isa after that you click on to save i repeat once again the account number for account number type 91 area code followed by phone number okay everything is done and now click on to status have your ip information is still registering if you get connected it will show like it's registered okay click on to network for new connections uh, you should follow this uh, for new connectors you should not go for static option dhcp static id will not be provided for them so you should go for dhcp and if for vlan id you should type 8 or 1831 service mode as voice and save that's all that's all of this video now you can if you are going to if you will need to check whether it is connected or not you can go for status option it may be displayed like this two options will be provided one is internet and other is voice i have done the third one as for new connection so it is showing like that okay that's all about the video if you have got any doubts you can just comment down here or it's you can chat over us on instagram the link is provided in the description please like share and subscribe okay